today I'm going to take you to a new construction community. And if it's starting to look super familiar, it's because we've been here a few times. This is Parkside Crossing. It's located in Steel Creek, which is about 20 to 25 minutes south of Uptown Charlotte and about 20 to 25 minutes from the airport. Now, this community has so much to offer and it's just getting better. So stay tuned. We're going there right now. I'm a real estate agent with Lifestyle International Realty in North and South Carolina. If you have a real estate need here, I would love to serve you, whether that's a month from now or a year from now. We're going to check out Parkside Crossing. But before that, I do have to remind you to subscribe to the channel so you can continue to learn the good, the bad, the ugly about living in Charlotte. Now, let's find out more about this super cool community that keeps growing and growing. One of my favorite things about Parkside Crossing is the fact that it takes a few minutes to actually get to the community. So you're gonna feel like you're secluded even though you're in a particularly busy part of Charlotte, which is Steel Creek. Steel Creek is very attractive if you like a combination of urban and a suburban lifestyle. So we're getting ready to tour the Mitchell floor plan, which is part of the Meadow Collection. This particular floor plan is considered the sweet spot here at Parkside Crossing, and that's because it's not too big and it's not too small. This one is about 3,000 square feet. It's got five bedrooms and three baths. And the best part of everything is that it has a guest suite on that lower level. And if you have people that are gonna come and visit you, they are gonna absolutely love that. I have that in my own home, and that is the favorite room when guests come. So let's take a tour and see what you think about this particular floor plan. Upon entering the Mitchell floor plan, you're greeted by a foyer as well as a dining room on the left. Of course, you do not have to utilize this space as a dining room. You can choose to make it an office or a study, a play area, a crafting room, a sitting room. You can basically turn it into whatever functions for you and your family. To the right, you have a garage. Uh, this is nice because the garage is coming out to your hallway as opposed to a living room, which is something that does bother a lot of clients. I wanted you to see that not only is this a two car garage, but it has a tankless water heater, which will be a lifesaver if you're hosting holidays or if you have a big family. The kitchen you can see has plenty of storage. Here on this left side right here where you see these cabinets, you can make that into a coffee station or a bar area. It is a nice group of additional cabinets. You see a full pantry as well as a built-in microwave over a gas range. Now, it actually, all of the three collections come with electric ranges but you have the option of upgrading to gas. And, and the listing agent did mention that most people upgrade to the gas option. So if you are a cook, you'll be happy to know that you get to have gas. Now, if you exit this door right here, this is gonna take you to the exterior. Here you have the option of this covered roof, and you also have this open space here extended patio where you can basically put another set of chairs like you see here a, a seating table where you can have lunch or you can host events uh, you definitely have plenty of space in the back as well as we see here the open concept living room with a corner fireplace fireplaces aren't very needed down here but as always, they are expected in certain price points. If you're wondering what the price point is here, it's about 500,000 to start. And there are four different plans in the metal collection. This is considered the metal collection. The Mitchell is one of those four. It is actually the largest of all of the floor plans in that collection. Now they have separated 
it by collections because certain collections are allowed to do certain things. The one that we saw previously, the Riverton model, that is part of the reserve collection and they get to pick everything a la carte. The Meadow and the Glen collection do not, but they do offer several groupings where you can select your color choices, which would cover your cabinets, your flooring, your tile, things of the sort. And then you would have some additional options in this metal collection. You see a walk-in closet here. Fun fact that I learned is that if a closet is 24 inches or less, it cannot have a light in it. So sometimes when you see a closet and it has no light, it's probably because code doesn't allow it. But walk-in closets don't have that issue, so that one does have a light. As we go up the stairs, the first room to your right is gonna be the primary bedroom, but we're gonna skip that for just a moment and we're gonna head to the rest of the spaces. I love this cool turnaround here in the stairwell. You have your primary, uh, not primary, sorry, secondary bathroom. This one is gonna service the three bedrooms on this level. I was talking about something else when we saw the bedroom downstairs, but that was, it was staged as an office, but it's actually a bedroom because it has a walk-in closet, it has windows, and so that could be used as a bedroom for a guest or for a family member that wants to have a little bit more privacy, especially if it's an in-law or a teenage child or something like that. You can see this room is pretty big. You have a chest. You also have two twin beds. You have a nightstand in between and additional space on the side. Here you have another bedroom. And what I really, really like about this bedroom is the fact that it has a lot of light as well as also a walk-in closet. Now, the only thing I would have done different with this walk-in closet is that I would have wrapped it all the way around. However, a lot of people here opt to remove the shelving and to have the closet designed. And there are many companies that do that here, so you will not have a problem finding something like that. Now, your laundry room is always going to be where your uh, primary bedroom is. And so we see that here that the laundry is on the upper level because the primary bedroom's on the upper level. Now, one feature that 99.99% of my clients ask for whenever they have two levels is a loft. And here you have one. Now, I have a loft, I don't do anything with it. We barely ever use it, but people love the idea of having a landing when you get upstairs so that is it there is a loft there you have another bedroom here tucked away behind the loft so this one is another one that could feel private for a guest because sometimes guests don't want to feel like they're being intrusive and you can see this closet does not have a light as well uh now we are heading to the primary bedroom so the primary bedroom is spacious it does have a tray ceiling. That's a feature that I love. I love to see architectural features like that. The other advantage of having that is that you can paint that little section up there in a different color, in an accent color. So if your accent color is orange, you can paint that orange. Or in my case, I love teal. So that's what I would do with it. There is also your primary bathroom off of the primary bedroom. And this is gonna have a massive mac um closet massive closet sorry i don't know what happened to me right there i got tongue tied and then also you're going to have a shower set up no tub that's becoming pretty obsolete people are not requesting tubs in their primary bathrooms but of course based on the riverton model you would probably be able to do that also here you have a bench and that bench is great for if you're shaving your legs or something of this sort. Also, you have your linen closet, perfect for towels, and a water closet because that is super important here. You have your double sink vanity and no one has to fight in the morning. If you're thinking that the Mitchell floor plan might be right for you, feel free to give me a call, connect with me. Let's see how we can make your dreams happen here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so, so you can continue to learn more about what it's like to live here in the Queen City. Now, as always, thank you for watching. 
Like Liz Stein says, thank you for visiting. Thanks for coming to the channel. See you next time.